Fear fast. Whoa. A big storm's coming, huh, Chris? Chris! 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 Yeah, what a monster! <laughs> and the creatures are heading for cover. Most creatures don't like being in the middle of a thunderstorm. And I know one creature who doesn't like to be out in this kind of weather. A certain leaping lemur called Zaboomafo! Hey, Zabu! Come in from the storm! All right! Zabu's here! We're gonna have fun! Zabu's one of the friendliest, fuzziest creatures around. But watch what happens in a storm. Whoa, monster! But it's not. It's really a friendly creature. Pretty creepy, huh? Zabu, did you know when the lightning flashes, you look a little creepy? Of course, there's no yakking until Zabu's done some snacking. Papaya! Do the papaya pass! There you go. Oh, yeah. Zabu loves this orange fruit. He doesn't really like these little bally things inside, which are seeds. This is one hungry lemur. Give me some of the food! Vookie, Vookie, Vookie. Oh, hey, animal friends. It's good to see you. I feel much better and safer now that I'm in Animal Junction. Why, what was bothering you, Zabu? Well, it doesn't happen much, but I'm a little afraid today. Yeah, a little afraid. What are you afraid of? A creature I don't know. A creature I saw in the dark and he... Oh, that's him! That's him! He's getting closer! He's coming to get me! Who? 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 Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I've been seeing. Can you help me guess this mystery? He had one, two, three, four staring eyes on two huge heads. And then one of the heads growled. Who could it be? This animal who I didn't see. Oh, God's God. Oh, God's God. Animal. I was scared of this huge monster with eight legs. Sounds unearthly, unworldly. <laughs> it's him! He's here! The end is near! Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to watch! I don't want to watch! Martin, look! Two grizzly bear cubs! Amazing! Hey, guys! <laughs> the mystery monsters are here! <laughs> look, this is the little boy. Well, and you can see he's all brown. And that's that growling that was worrying Zabu. <laughs> Oh, yeah, this is some monster. He's sucking my finger to death. <laughs> and here's the little girl. Wow. Whoa. Chris, this guy is a powerful sucker. <laughs> this is what they do at this age. They drink milk, and maybe that's what he's looking for. She wants to run. Hey, go explore. Go explore, girl. Hey, you know how you know that girl's a little girl? You can tell the difference between the two because the girl has a white natal ring around her neck, and the boy doesn't. He's darker brown, too. Uh, Zabu, you can look now. The monsters are here, and they look kind of happy to see us. That's them? Well, that's them, all right, but they're not nearly as scary as I remember them. Or imagine them. I think what happened was that the sounds the grizzly cubs were making and the dark night made Zabu imagine that the grizzly cubs were scary monsters. But they're not. They're not? Nope, they're not. And when you get to know them a little better, you'll know them for the creatures that grizzly bears really are. Well, I'd like to get to know them better, as long as it doesn't include them eating me. Ah! Oh, 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 oh. All right, let's go. So, where do we start? Let's start by saying that these two little monsters are members of the bear family. They're grizzly bears, fast-running bears who can race up to 35 miles an hour. 
Their bears are the true wilderness. They love wide open spaces. They're big, standing seven to seven and a half feet tall and weighing 300 to 800 pounds. But the funny thing is, they spend a lot of time eating grass. Now these creatures are powerful. They're big and they have huge paws. Plus, they have pretty impressive claws. Look at this. Whoa. And when he gets older, they're gonna be the size of a crayon. Really strong claws for ripping open logs and turning over rocks and digging holes. <laughs> well, bears usually dig for grubs, rodents, roots, anything in the ground that they can eat. Grizzly bears are omnivores. That means they'll eat everything. But right now, these cubs are still only eating milk from their mother. Hey, Chris, what's it like to have a grizzly bear on the back? <laughs> hey, girl. Grizzly bears really don't climb, except when they're cubs. The cubs always have to be able to get up into trees in case there's danger. But as they get bigger, they get much too heavy to climb. Grizzly bear cubs may be small, but they're strong. Strong enough to turn over boulders that weigh almost as much as they do. Grizzly bears aren't monsters, Abu. They're just really strong creatures. They're fighting now. <laughs> They're not fighting, Zabu. These two cubs are brothers and sisters. They're wrestling and playing. Are you sure they're playing? Yeah. And playing helps them become healthy and strong. Well, maybe you're right. Maybe I will play with them. Hey, grizzly bears, you want to play? Oh, 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 are you sure they're not going to eat me? Oh. <laughs> they're not going to eat you, Zabu. Huh? Don't let this storm get to your head. You're letting your imagination run away with you. Well, what about those claws and teeth? Well, huh? remember what I was saying about the grizzly bear mom eating grass? Well, the claws are used for the exact same thing. And so are the teeth. They're used for getting food. Hmm. So they're not going to eat me? Nah. Oh. But maybe these two won't seem as scary if I get to know them a little better. Exactly, Zabu. An animal junction is the only place you can get this close to grizzly bear cubs. Now you can get to know their whole animal nature and decide if they're scary or not. Hmm. Let's look at the way grizzly bear cubs depend on their mother for everything. Yeah, when the cubs are this little, they need a lot of help and protection from mom. I mean, they can't even feed themselves. They look to their mom for their meals, and their mom feeds them her milk many times a day. The cubs will drink from her until they're about six or seven months old. And it's that milk that helps them grow up to be big and strong grizzly bears, just like mom. Listen, hear that sound he makes? Now he's sucking on my face. A grizzly bear cub sucking on your face. It only happens in Animal Junction. Ah, my ear! <laughs> Manga, Zika, they're hungry. We gotta go over to the snack machine. Do you think we have grizzly bear milk? Well, let's check. All right, come on, let's go to the snack machine. Snack machine's this way. Come on. Yeah, yeah, this guy's ready right. for some food. But hopefully there's some milk in there. <laughs> yeah, grizzly bear milk. Woo! Yeah. Is this what you were looking for? Milk. Oh, yeah. That is what he was looking for. Look how happy he is now. He's not making any sounds because he got what he wanted. Does this look like a monster to you, Zabu? They don't look like monsters. Not when they're drinking yummy milk. It doesn't to me. Just a little grizzly bear cub with big claws. <laughs> Finished? See, now she wasn't as hungry as he was. He's a milk-sucking monster. <laughs> That's what he was making all the sound about. He just wanted to get his milk. Since she's not hungry, let's go play some more. Come on. Am I chasing you or are you chasing me? <laughs> well, he's done now. That's enough milk for him and now it's time to roll. Go, oh, there he goes. Now that you're bookie, it's time to play. Come on, Grizzly Bear Cubs, let's play. <laughs> wow. Huh? What do you smell? Oh, the tickles. <laughs> hey, the storm's over. And you know
You know what? You're not such a scary monster after all. No, you're not. Whoa, whoa. No one said anything about, about chewing on tails. Uh, uh, oh, 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 I get it. You want to play. <laughs> whoa. Hey, where did your sister go? Huh? <laughs> like I'm gonna play whether I'm ready or not. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> now that I know you, your long claws don't scare me anymore. That's it. That's a good name for you. I'll call you Long Claw. Well, you've got long claws, but that doesn't make you scary because inside, you're my animal friend. <laughs> well, I didn't forget about you. I named your sister Long Claw. Now I'll name you. Let's see, uh... Hmm, yeah. Oh, <laughs> nice teeth. Huh? What? Oh, yeah, I know, I know you're tough. <gasps> That's it. I'll call you Tough Tooth. <laughs> well, you can be tough on the outside sometimes, and my animal friends on the inside all the time. <laughs> <laughs> You've got it, Zabu. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel grizzly bearish. How about you, grizzly bearish? I feel grizzly bearish. <laughs> grizzly bearish! I'm a great grizzly growler and power is my game! Grizzly bearish! And part of being grizzly bearish is being in the water. Manga Tsika, that gives my mind a great idea! <laughs> Last one in the pool is a very scary monster! Woohoo! Come on, brothers! The water's great! Whoa! 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 <laughs> We're being grizzly bearish! <laughs> <laughs> if you're a grizzly bear, you like to hang out in the water and wrestle with your buddies. But a grizzly doesn't just play in the water. She loves to chow down on salmon. She's one great fish catcher. A grizzly can eat almost 100 salmon in one hour. That's a lot of fish. Now, one of the only places you'll see a lot of grizzly bears together is at a salmon stream. And it's amazing to watch a grizzly bear in action when she's fishing for salmon. She'll take her cubs along and then go and find a nice spot in the stream where she'll wait. She'll wait for the salmon to jump up the waterfall and then she tries to grab him with her mouth. She doesn't always get him, but if she's patient and she gets one! So I used to be afraid of grizzly bears because I didn't know them. But now that I know them, I'm not afraid of grizzly bears anymore. <laughs> it's just like when we all met somebody new in Sabu Land. I was leaping along. Leap, 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 leap. When all of a sudden, someone leapt out from a whoa, zango bush. And I thought, who is that scary creature? Oh, I'm not scary. I'm sensitive. Not scary. Well, you scared me leaping out like that. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Oh, people think I'm scary and a monster because I like to do things at night. Oh, well, you're not scary. Oh, oh, you're uh, nocturnal. Yeah, nocturnal. Oh. I'm going to stay up and do things oh. with you tonight. Oh. So we sat and waited until oh. night came. Yeah, I love the nighttime. Oh, the stars come out and the moon. Oh, it's my favorite time. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. So we did things that oh. Sensit likes to yeah. do, oh. like Slide down the sleeping yeah, Zaboomafuasaurus. Woohoo! Hey, come here. Watch this. And then we bounced on Snoozing Google and we played and played all night long. And that's how I met my new friend Sensit. And believe me, he's not scary, he's fun. The end. Hey, everybody. Hello? Hey, everybody? Oh, no. Looks like my story put everybody to sleep. Oh, I, oh no. Uh, no, Zob, it wasn't your story. It was just the milk and exercise. That'll make any grizzly bear a little sleepy. Time to wake up. But now it's time to get on the move. Hey, I think they're heading home. Bye, Long Claw. Bye, Tough Tooth. See ya. I like getting to know monsters that aren't monsters. Hey, do you know any other creatures that are like that? Huh? Incoming! Doc! Doc? Well, I know Doc. 
products. They're not scary at all. <laughs> oh, you mean that kind of a duck. Hi, Tomato Head. You're not scary. Well, you know that, and I know that, and Martin knows that, but some people think turkey vultures are scary. Turkey vultures aren't scary. Well, well, he, no, he's not scary. Well, he brought a message from the animal helpers. Hi, Martin. Hi, Chris. Hi, Zabu. Amy's here with my friend, Danielle, who's a great animal helper. Six months ago, she found an orphan baby skunk. Danielle took care of him, but now he's old enough to learn how to be on his own. A skunk will spray when he's scared, so Danielle holds him really gently. At first, the skunk will live in a halfway house, and Danielle will visit him and feed him a little. After a while, he'll find his own food, and it'll be time for him to go back in the wild, where he belongs. No one should be afraid of skunks. They won't hurt you, as long as you're quiet and give them lots of space. You know what? I want to have a party. I want to have a party for all the animals that people think are scary. Yeah, and I'll call it a uh, fear fest. <laughs> one of your huh? guests has already arrived. Oh. A spitting cobra from Africa. Manga Zika. A spitting cobra? Oh, yes, perfect. He looks very scary. You'll be perfect for the fear fest party. <laughs> all right, so we have one scary creature for the fear fest party. But for a really great party, you need a lot of creatures. I know where we can go where there's a creature so scary even bears and tigers are afraid. Let's grab our stuff and go to, to India. India! Sounds like a trip to me. They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. Now or never. Do it, brother. <laughs> They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet Let's go. and they're headed out the door. Eyes up! Now I can set up my fear fest party. <laughs> uh, that way, Chris! We're here in India, searching for the Indian wild dogs. But who knows where they could be? Because these wild dogs move around a lot, and they move around fast. So it's a good thing we're riding around in our trusty four-wheeler, because that way we can... What happened? Our wheels fell off. There they go. <laughs> what did you say about our trusty four-wheeler? <laughs> this has never happened before. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, the wild dogs. Now we're never gonna find them unless they find us. Look, in the grass. Indeed, wild dogs. Or you can call them doles. Either way, they're an amazing creature. <laughs> Indian wild dogs are incredibly social creatures. Like most canines, they live in packs and watch out for each other. And their hearing is amazing too. And they're constantly on the move, listening for prey. These wild dogs are incredible. They're so spry and agile. It's almost like they're bouncing around. Hey, something's got their attention. Of course, back to their kill for more to eat. They're feeding on a cheetle deer. Wild dogs have caught a deer, but they're not gonna be able to eat in peace. A lot of other creatures want a piece of the action, including vultures and crows. You can see the crows waiting in the trees trying to swoop down and get a snack. But the wild dogs are onto them. The vultures stand ready, waiting for a chance to swoop in. Dogs are watching really closely. They're not ready to let their lunch go just yet. A quick charging dog sends the birds flying. Indian wild dogs don't like to see other creatures eating their food, but with their bellies full, they get tired of chasing the birds away. So eventually, they leave their kill to the scavenging birds and move on. Well, the wild dogs are out of here. And it's time for us to get out of here, too. You know what, Chris? I'm already feeling a little tired. I know what you mean, brother. I know what you mean. Oops, I was doing better with his beer fest party than we did with our truck. Yeah, we'll soon find out. Where is he anyway? Hey, Zabu? Zabu? 
when the storm come back. Welcome to Fear Fest. Be the creatures who give you the shivers. The creatures you see in the dark. Whoa! <laughs> Wait, I know that laugh. <laughs> yeah, it's me, Zabu. I made this scary creature. <laughs> you made it? Well, yeah. I uh, got some building tips from watching you guys build the things that you built. That's how I made this Fear Fest monster. That's our Zabu. What an amazing lemur. <laughs> well, you thought it was a scary monster, right? But inside is a different creature who's not so scary. <laughs> Me. Hey, the storm's over. Martin, Chris, meet all my Fear Fest party friends. Jaguar. Oh, and my friend Cobra. <laughs> There's I I. And my friend Vulture. Oh, buddy Tarantula. <laughs> oh, eh, wolf friends. Oh! And of course, my buddy Bat. Oh, and Corn Snake and Scorpion too. What a great turnout! Hey, <laughs> you have a lot of great animal friends. Yeah, I sure do. And you know what? They came from all over. Well, because they didn't want to miss my Fear Fest party. <laughs> Everybody's here. A Wolverine too. He's one of the toughest members of the Weasel family, but not scary at all when you get to know him. Well, here's Binturong. Well, you remember Popcorn. He looks scary, but he's really a friendly fruit eater. Oh, and there's Jaguar. <laughs> he's tough on basketballs, but he's just another tough creature you don't need to be scared of. None of them are scary. Hey, there's a Gila monster. He's one of the only lizards with a poisonous bite. But if you just give him his space, there's no problem. And the wolves, wild howlers and great prowlers, but really peaceful and shy creatures who just want to be left alone and do their own thing. Hey, it's a great party full of animal friends. Happy Fear Fest. A party is always fun. Hey, it's just like in Sabu Land. I was leaping along. Leap, 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 <laughs> leap, 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 leap. When I bumped into Sense It. Oh, 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 hi, Sense It. Hi, Zabu. Oh, Zabu. We're bored. No, oh, we don't know what to do. Oh, I hear something. Gubo, anybody want to come to a scary face party? Oh, Gubo. Hello. He wants to know if we want to come to a scary face party. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll go to a scary, scary face party. party. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. let's go. And so we did. And everybody couldn't wait to get there. <laughs> Can't wait. Summer's scary to me. Oh, yeah, because there's no snow. Yeah. Oh, what do I like better? Being scary or being scared? No. Yeah, I'm scary because I'm... Oh, why am I scary again? Oh, hi, everybody. Welcome to my scary oh, face party. Oh, okay, oh. let's start making scary faces. Oh. And so we did. Each of us had our own special scary face. They were all different, and they were all really scary. And the scary face party lasted all afternoon. Oh, the oh, end. Oh. Happy Beer Fest. Remember, get to know an animal before you decide to be afraid of it. That's right, because if you understand an animal, you can know how to get along with them, and they can all be our animal friends. Human. 
friends. I'm so glad we're finally learning those new snowboarding maneuvers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, your Superman front flip's looking pretty good. Thanks, I'm just starting to get that one down. <laughs> It's Little Leaper, the ringtailed lemur. You know, Little Leaper doesn't have to learn how to ride lemurback style. It comes naturally. Hey, Little Leaper, are you looking for Zabu? I guess he is. Let's call him. Zabu Mafo. Zabu. Zabu. Hey, do you want to help us call Zabu? Come on. Zabu Mafo. Hey! <laughs> hey, Zob, how you doing? Wait up! Whoa, now that's what I call a leaping lemur. What do you feel like today, Zabu? Let's see what the snack machine feels like. Bananas! Come on. There you go. We all love bananas. One more little piece. There you go. Is it good, Zab? Zab on the phone! So you Vuki, Zabu? Yep, Vuki, Vuki, Vuki. Just like the creature I saw today. A big yellow creature that was gobbling up little humans. Gobbling up little humans? Yeah. Who could it be? This animal who I did see Can you help me guess this mystery? Okay, the creature had two eyes and was yellow like a banana. Who could it be? This animal who I did see Bogotska! Bogotska! Animal! And the creature was big, or even bigger than Toothbrush the Elephant. <laughs> who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? A big yellow kid goblin creature. Do you know who he is? Well, I hope he doesn't gobble us up. Let's see. Yellow like a banana. Huge like an elephant. This one's really tough. Yeah, with a big mouth that gobbles up little humans. You know what? That doesn't sound like a creature. That sounds like a school bus. <laughs> a school bus. Bringing kids to Animal Junction. Hey! <laughs> Welcome to Animal Junction, everybody. Look at them all. Look at all these kids. Hey, hey, how did you guys like being gobbled up by that yellow thing? You know, the That's school, school bus. bus. Yeah. Huh? School bus? Do what? you like riding in school buses, guys? Yeah. yeah. Where, where does it take you? To the school. School? What, what do you do there? Uh, you know, play. Play, play is color good. And, and color. Lego. And Tuesday, we always go on gym. Uh -huh. What's and gym? Jim, you have to listen to instructions, but you can play a lot. Do you get any snacks? And yeah. eat. Do you get to eat at school? Yeah. Woo -ha! I'll just talk about school. Well, I want to go to school too. Me too. <laughs> You're not a human like us. <laughs> well, <laughs> exactly. Lemurs don't go to school. Humans, kids go, and that's where they learn things. Well, I could learn stuff too, couldn't I? Yeah, Zabu, you're a great learner. You know, and all creatures learn things. Like a baby baboon has to learn how to find food. She watches the older baboons dig for seeds. And then she tries it herself. That's how she learns how to be a baboon. Humans are the only creatures that get to go to a place called school. Well then, teach me how to be a human, because I want to go to school. Well, you guys, Zabu wants to learn how to be a human. Yeah. Do you think we could teach a lemur creature how to be a human creature? Yeah. Do you want to do it? Yeah, we yeah. 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 can do it. Let's teach Zabu how to be human. So where do we start? Let's start with the things we all have in common. Yeah, what do lemurs and humans have in common? Well, uh, Little Leaper and I both have heads like you do for thinking. 
Yeah. yeah. And there's a lemur on my head, right? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and we, we all have uh, uh, two eyes for seeing. Yep, yeah. two eyes. And a nose. And a nose, nose. nose. yeah. For, for sniffing. Right. <laughs> and on the side here? Hearing. Yeah, yeah. Hearing, hearing with the ears. Yeah. That's right. And, and we all have <laughs> bodies and, and arms and legs. And, well, some creatures have lots of legs. Like giraffes. Yeah, giraffes have the longest legs of any animal. And how about the millipede? Look at all those legs. Check out the furry legs of that tarantula. Which animal legs do you think are cool? Do you like uh, cat legs? Yeah. Like a cheetah? Her legs give her the speed she needs to chase down her prey. And little Leaper and I have fingers and toes just like you do. Yeah, yeah but we don't have tails like you and little Leaper do. You don't? Oh, yeah. Well, too bad. Tails are great. Hey, I thought of something. Well, you guys wear clothes, and me and little Leaper don't. Can you imagine Zabu all dressed up? <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Let's do you it. Let's go to the closet. I'm ready to be a human, all and right. I know how to get to the closet. You just go over there, you stand by the door, and you say something like, uh, Okay, here we go again. And then you open the door. <laughs> and then you know what happens. Here it goes. Yeah, there we go. Oh, oh, here comes the avalanche. <laughs> 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 well, Zabu, you have a lot of clothes to choose from. <laughs> Humans need to wear clothes in all kinds of weather because we don't have fur like Zabu does. Oh. And we outgrow our clothes too. Oh, yeah. As we get bigger. <laughs> this is the shirt from when I was a baby. <laughs> you were tiny then. Yeah. I like this one. Zabu, how about some running shoes too? Oh, okay. All right. Okay, now let's see, put these on. So I guess I put them on my feet, right? Yeah, okay. Almost ready. Uh, ta da! Do you think Zabu uh, looks like a human creature now? Yeah! yeah. Look at me! I'm walking in shoes. <laughs> <laughs> running shoes? I can't even walk in these shoes. Clothes. Yuck! Don't get the, these clothes <laughs> off of me. <laughs> That's better. I'm a naked lemur again. <laughs> well, you know, animals don't really like to wear clothes because they don't need to wear clothes, like polar bears. They live in the cold, snowy Arctic, but they have thick fur to keep them nice and warm. They even sleep in the snow. Okay, so I don't wear clothes, right? But I can still go to school, don't you think? Yeah! yeah. Here, I'll show you. I've played human games before. It's true, he yeah. has. Yeah, I played uh, tug of war and uh, catch and... Uh, hey, Zabu, huh? how about trying a new game this time? Yeah. Well, sure. How about baseball? Well, yeah, I can learn, no problem. Easy, easy, easy. All right, <laughs> throw us the ball, Fling. Woo, nice toss. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to play? Let's yeah. go! Yeah. All right. Baseball? Oh, oh where's the hot dog? Baseball! Watch closely, Zab. OK. Here's the pitch. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, touch the bases! Touch the bases! Oh, touch the bases! Touch the bases! <laughs> Can you believe you're mine? I can't. Zabu's turn! Hey, it's the ball, Zabu! All right, Zab, it's your turn. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's play ball. Now, Zabu, huh? you're up at bat. Bat? What bat? I don't see a bat. Oh, there's the bat. <laughs> Not that kind of bat, Zabu. This kind. This is a baseball bat. And what you do is you wait until Chris throws the ball. Then you stand here and you swing, you hit the ball, all right? Swing the ball. Oh, yeah. Ready for the baseball bat? Okay. Here it is. Thanks. Whoa! This is a heavy bat. You can do it, buddy. All right. Okay. Okay, good. All right, Chris, come on. All right, is everybody ready to play? All right, here it comes, Zob. Okay. Oh! Wait, wait! Okay, swing a little earlier this time. Okay. Keep your eye on the ball, buddy. Okay. Ready, Zob? All right, ready? Here comes number two. Strike two. Okay, that's up. Zob, this time. Okay. <laughs> there you go. All right, now this time. Yeah? Really put all your power into it. Your weight, just swing right through it, okay? Okay. All right. Swing through it? Yeah, just swing through it. Really okay. whammy. Okay. okay. Wait, Here it comes. Okay. Oh. 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 I, I meant to do that. Yeah, I, I did. I really did. <laughs> <laughs> Even 
even if you don't get it right the first time. Playing is very important for baby creatures. These cheetahs, for example, they chase each other around, practicing for the day when they're gonna hunt. Nice follow through, Zabu. Is there another sport I might be better at? Well, something with, uh, well, leaping? Of course, basketball. A great leaping game for a great leaping lemur. Leaping's a really important part of basketball, Zombie. Okay, I'll try it. <laughs> nice one, Zombie. Nice one, Duncan. All right for Zombie. Don't throw roses, just throw leaves. <laughs> Great one, Zombie. You're better at basketball than some people. I really am learning to be a human. Yeah, he's doing pretty good, isn't he, Little Leaper? Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey! <laughs> Little Leaper wants me to tell you about something that happened in Zabu Land. I was leaping along, leap, <laughs> leap, 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 when I found Noggin Drill and baby Zabumafuasaurus hiding behind a tree. Hey guys, what are you doing behind that tree? Are you hiding from something? Oh, I can't talk now, Zabu. Gotta go. That's me. I, I'm out of here. Wait for me! What is the matter with everyone? And then I heard a voice. I'm only trying to say hello. Oh, who said that? Oh, hello. My name is Sai. I come for a friendship. Do you want to play? I told him we all like to play, and I threw him a goobleberry. Whoa, this is a fun game. So we all played goobleberry catch, and no one was afraid of our new friend Sai anymore. The end. Fun, huh? <laughs> Did you like that story? Yeah! yeah. So, uh, what else can I learn? If I'm gonna go to school, my mind thinks I need to learn some more. Well, yeah, you do. He does. Huh? Let's see if he can handle a school lunch. The question is, can Zabu eat like a human? Well, that'll be easy, easy, easy. Well, what do human creatures like to eat? Well, hedgehogs are insectivores, so they eat insects. And tigers eat meat, because they're carnivores. And herbivores like deer chow down on fruit. Now humans and lemurs eat a lot of the same things. Lemurs eat bananas just like we do. Let's see if a little leaper wants to eat a banana. Do you eat bananas? You want to take a bite too? <laughs> no, you're not hungry right now. I'll have some. Mmm. <laughs> Good. My favorite kind of food is pizza, but I like lots of different foods, too. Oh, yeah, me too. Bread, milk, spaghetti and meatballs. You know, we're omnivores. That means we humans, we like to eat a lot of things. He's all finished. <laughs> there he goes. Chris, Martin, brothers, when do I get to eat like a human, huh? OK, guys, how about spaghetti? <laughs> And meatballs! Oh, yeah. Come, Come and get, get it! it. <laughs> All right! Woo! Whoa! All right, who wants a meatball? Oh, sure. All right. Okay. Thanks. There you go. Okay. Who wants sauce? Right. Cheese, who wants some Parmesan cheese? Oh, me, you know? me, me, Okay. Me, me. Some for Zabu. All right. All right. All there right. you go. Here, should I put a little on your head? Pepper? <laughs> and on your head? <laughs> you want pepper? Hot and spicy. Oh, okay. okay. So, and this is the way we all eat spaghetti and meatballs oh, okay. with the forks. You're holding yeah. it good. Yeah. And uh, we have bread. How about a piece of bread for you? Okay, put that on my plate. Okay, yeah. there you go. Boy, eating like a human is hard. One of you guys want to show Zabu how to cut a meatball? It's She's a showing toy you how to cut it. Oh, okay. Yeah, like that. See that, Zabu? Try that. <laughs> Oops. Uh oh. I've heard about homing pigeons, but never homing meatballs. No! <laughs> All right, you got the like cutting that. act. Okay, let me try again. No, oh, double whoops. Whoa, did you see that catch? Good thing Kelly caught it. Hey, my mind just got an idea. Why don't we eat Chris's favorite food, pizza? I've seen him eat it, and you don't need these knife and fork thingies. I hope I'm better at eating pizza than I was at eating spaghetti. Look at that. All right, here it comes. Pizza! Here's a slice for you. Well, I don't want to use these knife and fork things. No problem, use your hands. Oh, this is good. I like the vegetable parts the best. Oh, excuse me. Yep. 
<laughs> Show Zabu how to use a napkin. That's true. You want everybody to show them how to wipe your face. Yes. So that's what we do after we eat Zabu. We oh, wipe yeah. our face. Well, that's good. Right? Let me try. Put it right up there. Yep. You got it, buddy. Perfect. He's doing pretty good, huh? What do you think about Zabu eating like a human? Does he have the hang of it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thanks. You know, I'm feeling kind of humanish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel humanish. How about you? Humanish? Woohoo! I feel humanish. Mm mm. Humanish. A human kind of animal with animals as my friends. Woohoo! Everybody now, walk on two legs. Whoa, whoa! Humanish. Okay, Zabu, I think you might be ready to go to school. Oh, good. He dressed up like a human, at least uh -huh. for a little while. Yeah. He played sports like a human, especially basketball. That's your game. Yeah, it sure is. Uh, what else can I do? Um, oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Hugs. Well, Little Leaper is hugging on you. Yeah. Hey, I think it's time for you guys to hug on me. <laughs> Group hug. I love hugs. <laughs> oh, good hugs. <laughs> well, Zabu, I think now you're officially a little human who's ready to go to school. <laughs> but first, incoming duck! Oh, it's Blink, the great horned owl. Hey, Blink. Yeah, and she's amazing. She can turn her head 180 degrees. Watch this. She'll follow my finger all the way around. That's at least 270 degrees. And look, Zabu, she brought a message from the animal helpers. Whoa. Hey, guys, why don't we invite Chris, Martin, and Zabu to our school? Hooray! I finally get to go to school. Do you think I've learned enough about being a human to go to school? Yeah. yeah. Well, what if I don't know enough? Don't worry, Zabu. Mm -hmm. Everybody's a little afraid to go yeah. to school the first time. It's just because it's new and you've never done it before. Hey, yeah. Zach. Were you a little afraid the first time you went to school on your own? Yeah, when Me I too. first saw Me it. Too. Huh? Yeah. Me too. Me too. There was yeah. a lot of kids. Well, but you still <laughs> went, huh? Yeah, we're yeah. afraid. And we like it now. Well, and you well, like it now? Yeah. <laughs> well, what do you think, guys? What do you think? Do you think, though, that Zabu is ready to go to your school? Do you? Yeah! yeah. Oh, yes! <laughs> Wait a second. Do I? I have to wear clothes? No, Zabu, no. you're great just the way you are. All right, yeah. then let's go to school. I'm ready. We're going to the closet. We're going on a trip. We're going to the closet to grab our stuff and split. OK, let's go. Come on, everybody. Yeah, there we go. Oh, hey. going to school. We're going on a cool adventure and we don't know what's in store. We're coming from the closet and we're headed out the door. So, this is what it's like inside the creature that eats you every day. <laughs> school bus! Yeah, the school bus. Hey, everybody out there, I'm going to school. <laughs> we're here. Come on, Zabu. It's gonna be great! Coming! Yeah! Yeah! Whoa. This is school? Yeah, yeah! This is school! The place where human kids learn all sorts of things! All right, everybody, so you're ready to show Zabu how we do it? Yeah! yeah! I'm ready to learn! <laughs> so what do you guys want to show Zabu first? Letters! Letters? Letters? All right, here we go! And numbers, great. Oh, okay. <laughs> Tell Zabu what letter this is. Z. Yeah, like in zebra or Zabu. And there's something special you can do with letters. You put them together. D e O T. D. Right. Dog. So letters make words. We had a huge dog called the Mastiff. Oh, oh yeah, he was, he was awesome. Big. Yeah, he was a lot bigger than me. He was a lot bigger than you little humans. Hey, what are they doing over there? Snacks? But I forgot all my snacks in the snack machine. Oh. Don't worry, Zabu. I packed you a snack. You did? What did you pack me? What did you pack me? Can you guess? Garbanzo! <laughs> 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 
Your hands will be up everywhere. Do you guys want to feed Zab or something? Hey. Open wide. Oh, good snack. <laughs> Actually, you want to give Zabu a bite of your apple? Uh. Lemurs love apples. Excuse me. Hey, Chris. What? Are you Vuki yet? No. Do you know what Vuki is? Tell him so. Oh, Vuki means you're full. You had enough food to eat. <laughs> uh, keep on snacking. And that's what I do until I'm Vuki. Mm. Hey, what's that? It's a computer. <laughs> and right now we're at the Zabumafu website. Oh, what's a website? A website is a place where you can go to learn things and play games and have fun. You want to click the snack machine? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, there it is. I'll click right there. You're right. Hey, that's me. Yeah, Zabu, your right. voice is on the website. Ungatsika, that's great. <laughs> Nectar is sugary water that comes from flowers. And that's that Martin. Lap up with little brushes on the ends of their huh? well, What's that? That's the school bell, Zabu. It means the school's finished for the day. Finished? Yeah. But I don't want to go. I want to stay here with my human teachers. Well, who says you have to leave them? Yeah, why don't we all go back to Animal Junction and we can keep teaching Zabu? That's a great idea! <laughs> <laughs> Let's, go. Let's go! Come on, everybody! Back to Animal Junction! So you have fun in school, Zabu? Yeah, it was Manga Zika. I can't believe my mind! Puppies! Yeah, puppies! <laughs> These puppies really like you humans. <laughs> I also like your face. <laughs> wow! Lots and lots of puppies! Lots and lots of little puppies! Yeah. Um, a schnauzer. And you really have to spend a lot of time with your puppy. When you have a puppy, spend as much time as you can with him, right? Because he's your best friend. Yeah. <laughs> and you're his best friend, too. And spending time together with your best animal friend is a lot of fun. This is a mini Doberman pincher. That's a pincher. Yeah. And you know what kind this is? This is a, a golden, golden. Yeah, golden retriever. Great. How about this little guy with the smushed face? Uh, okay. A bug. A bug, a bug. Yeah. yeah. And a cocker spaniel came over to say hi. Spaniel. <laughs> hey, this makes my mind remember one time in Zabu Land. I was leaping along, <laughs> leap, leap, leap. And then I saw something that made me not believe my mind. Baby Zabumafuasaurus was throwing something up and down with his mouth. And that something was Psy. I love playing ball. Up and down. Up and down. down. <laughs> Baby Zabumafuasaurus, that's not a ball, that's Psy. Stop. Oh, what? Oh, no. My ball. No, 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 wait. Someone help me stop Baby Zabumafuasaurus. He thinks Psy's a ball. And he might pop him. No, no, my. Back to my little ball. That's a robot. Guys, oh, hang on. Gubo, watch out. Gubo, help me stop Baby Zabumafuasaurus. I'll try. Oh, we stop? Baby Zabubu Fools for us. I'm not a ball, I'm a son. A sorry son. It's all right. End. Good story, Zabu. You like Zabu's story? Yeah. Yes. I think the puppies like it too. This animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his climbing behind. All the friends we met today. But we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly, and climb. One more thing we have to say go make an animal friend today. Yeah! There's one thing I like almost better than snacking, and that's playing. When you gotta play, you gotta play! <laughs> we'll see you next time. Oh, these crazy puppies. <laughs> Keep on uh, leaping. Um, my name's Akin. This is my dog, Corbin. Buddies!
waste time, bro. Well, I know where the mud is. Now I just wonder where Zabu is. Thanks, Chris. Let's call him. Zabu, my fellow. Zabu. 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 There he is. Hey, buddy. How's it going? What are you looking for, Zabu? You know Zabu, he's not gonna say anything till he's had his snack. That was a great jump, Zabu. Way to go. Here, let me scratch you. Oh, right there, huh? <laughs> Let's see what we have for Zabu today. This is gonna be huge! One garbanzo bean? That's not enough for Zabu. I'll be right back. Okay, I just have to find that thing. Where is it now? Aha! All right, this ought to do it. Let's see. Adjustments over here. Hey. Oh. Jackpot! Zabu! Zabu, I found some garbanzo beans. Zabu loves garbanzo beans. Yeah. Excuse me. Zabu Mufu! <laughs> hey, Crap Brothers. Yes, yeah, Zab. Chris, I was thinking, you have Martin, and Martin, you have Chris. Yeah, we're brothers. And you're buddies. Yeah, we're buddies too. Well, the creature I saw, she had a buddy. Who could it be? The first creature I saw had hundreds of wavy fingers, but she wasn't alone. A creature buddy was right there with her. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Oh, God's God. Oh, God's God. Animal. And the little orange one was swimming in the tan one. <laughs> Water buddies, do you know who they are? Oh, yeah! Hundreds of little fingers. Tan wavy. And another creature swimming all around. Whoops, I got it! Whoa! A clownfish and a sea anemone. I got you, buddy! <laughs> nice say, nice find! What amazing creatures. And the more you look at them, the more you learn about them, the more amazing they become. At first, when you look at them, you think there's only one creature there. But when you look closer, you see there are really two, the clownfish and the sea anemone. Talk about a great team of buddies. These creatures really know how to get along. The clownfish and sea anemone live together in the oceans. Living in the ocean can be really dangerous. It's a fish-eat-fish -fish world down there with lots of predators at every turn. Like this colorful grouper. And the long-jawed trumpet fish. Can you believe those chompers? The tasseled woebegone shark, a puffer fish. And, of course, there's always a white-tipped reef shark swimming around. In a place like this, the clownfish and the sea anemone really watch each other's backs. These creatures have a symbiotic relationship. A clownfish and a sea anemone each get something good out of living together. They, they protect, protect each, each other. other. Believe it or not, this clownfish will live with this sea anemone all his life. Whoa. Well, they must be buddies like you and Chris. Yeah. Hey, I wonder if clownfish and sea anemone want to be my buddy too. Let's be buddies. Zabu, wait, no! Ah! Oh, oh, that doesn't tickle! That stings! Well, maybe they don't want to be my buddies. Well, stings the thing! Uh, why do you do that? Sorry, Zabu, I didn't get a chance to tell you. Hmm? The sea anemone stings because he's protecting his little buddy, the clownfish. Oh. oh, well, now that I know that, I know what to call you guys. Because clownfish and sea anemone is a lot to say all the time. 
Well, you try it. Say, clownfish and sea anemone three times fast. Clownfish and sea anemone, clownfish and sea anemone, clownfish and sea anemone. Whew, that's hard. Let's see, I think I'll call you Finn and you Sting. Yeah, Sting and Finn. Whew, that's much easier. <laughs> and Sting does sting. So you'd better give the sea anemone his space. Unless you can do what the clownfish does, you're gonna get zapped. Okay, Finn, show us how it's done. I'm watching. What does he do? When a sea anemone is defending herself or catching prey, she shoots little stingers from her tentacles. But she doesn't sting a clownfish. Here's why. A sea anemone is covered with slime, so the clownfish does a little dance, covering herself with slime and making the sea anemone think that she's just another one of her tentacles. The clownfish becomes the sea anemone. That's why the sea anemone doesn't attack the clownfish. So you're saying I have to do a dance and rub myself with slime? That's right, Zabu. That's how the clownfish does it. Okay, I'll do it. I'll try the Be My Buddy Boogie, but I'll try it without slime. Hey, Sting, here's my dance. Check it out. Zabu, look out! need my own buddy to watch out for me when I'm dancing. <laughs> yeah, I need my own buddy who can watch my back. We're your buddies, Zabu. Well, yeah, but you have to watch out for each other. Well, I need a special buddy who can watch out for me full time. <laughs> can you help me find a special buddy? Sure, Zabu. Let's all keep an eye out for a special buddy for Zabu. Somebody who will help him out as much as the clownfish and sea anemone help each other. <laughs> Oh, there's another reason the clownfish and sea anemone are great buddies, Zab. You see, the clownfish lays eggs, and she lays those eggs underneath this thing on the sea anemone called an oral disc. It's a safe place for the eggs until they hatch because the sea anemone protects them. And that's not all. A clownfish isn't a great swimmer, so it's not a good idea for him to be swimming around the ocean all alone. If a clownfish wants to survive, he has to find a sea anemone to live in. So you can think of the sea anemone as the clownfish's house. It's a safe place to go when there's danger around. And the sea anemone gets a great bonus out of being buddies, too. He gets protection from his enemies, like the butterfly fish. You see, one of the clownfish's jobs is to chase away any butterfly fish. That's because a butterfly fish will bite the sea anemone, taking off a chunk of tentacle with each bite. So the clownfish has to chase away butterfly fish to protect his buddy. Sting and Finn are made for each other. I'll keep looking for somebody who doesn't have a buddy so we can be buddies. Yeah. Hey, uh, I need a buddy so he can tell me when a creature's about to grab my tail. Whoa! Ah! I lost and found it. <laughs> well, I can't ask Lost and Found to be my buddy because everybody knows his special buddy is Brainiac the Chimpanzee. Hi, Brainiac. You go and play, okay? And now, I'll go look for a buddy of my very own. And you'll find one, Zob, because there are lots of buddies in the creature world, like an oxpecker and a rhinoceros. The oxpecker eats the bugs off the rhino, and the rhino gets a good cleaning. But that's not all. A rhino doesn't have very good eyesight. So, if the oxpecker takes off, then the rhino's warned that something might be up. Look who's here! Two baby sloths, and this is about as fast as they like to move. If that's fast, I don't leap. Hey, I remember you sloths. Yeah, I remember what I called them, Martin. I called you slow and you slower. Perfect <laughs> names for sloths, Abu. Nice to see you again. He dropped his bark. Martin will get it for you. Got it. There you go. Now, sloths usually don't eat bark, just leaves, but uh, maybe he wants to play with it. He just took that so nice and easy. Yeah, and he's only got two claws on his hand. Yep, the two-toed sloth. Hey, Martin, are these two buddies? Well, sloths usually don't buddy around together too much, but you can find sloths in the same tree when there are really good leaves to eat. Because sloths love eating leaves. They eat a lot of leaves. It's their favorite food. Hey, uh, maybe you guys want to be my buddies. Well, what do you want to do? They're doing just about everything they want to do right now. Just hanging around and eating leaves. So, uh, you 
probably don't want to leap around Animal Junction with me. Sloths hmm. don't leap, Sabu. Huh? They just hang in the trees. In fact, they hardly ever even go down to the ground. Hmm. And they already have their own buddies, Sab. Insects. Hundreds of insects live in a sloth's fur. It's a safe place to be if you're a bug. But bugs aren't the best buddies to have if you're a sloth. Sloths have a lot of creatures living with them, but these creatures aren't exactly buddies. Sloth beetles live behind their elbows and knees, and sloth moths live inside their fur. And these buddies itch. Tell me about it. They itch. Oh, oh, really? Oh, I know how they feel, because I got bugs all over me. <laughs> Where'd they come from, Zabu? Well, I don't know. Maybe they think I'm a sloth. They itch like crazy. I wish they'd stop. <laughs> Shark, where'd you come from? Have you been here all day? I guess you noticed I've got a bug problem. These bugs are bugging me. They itch. Uh, huh? What? Oh, thanks. You're great, Shark Buddy. Buddy. Hey, you can be my special buddy. Shark's gonna be my special buddy. <laughs> Shark can watch out for Zabu. Yeah, because he can watch in all directions so I won't bump into things. <laughs> and Zabu can watch out for Shark. Yeah. Perfect. Chameleons have the most incredible eyes. See how each eye can look in a different direction? So he can see Zabu leap over there, and over there, and over there. He can see everywhere. We can't do that. Hard. A sloth can't do that either. See, a sloth can't move their eyes independently like a chameleon can, but she can move her head a full 180 degrees. This lets her see the ground no matter which way she's hanging. We humans can't turn our heads around like that. Nobody does it like my buddy shark. Always keeps an eye on his buddy Zabu. Hey, that makes my mind remember one time in Zabu land. I was leaping along. Leap, <laughs> leap, leap, leap. When I thought I heard a rock crying. And I said, is that a rock crying? No. And a sad little voice said, it's not a rock, it's me, Simantha. Oh, why are you so sad? No one wants to be my buddy. Nobody wants to hug with me because I'm so shiny. <laughs> and I told her, but I don't mind. I'll be your buddy. You can give me a hug. I can? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, you see what I mean? It's hard to be a buddy when you squirt out of their hugs. <laughs> and I said, I love your slimy hug. That was fun. It was? Oh, you want to come back here? Yeah, let's do it again. Okay. Can we do it again? Oh, yeah, come on. Oh, oh, oh. oh gobble. Now I'm slimy, too. You're my best buddy. And it's my turn to hug you. <laughs> yeah. What a fun way for yeah. buddies to spend a day. <laughs> the end. Hey, you know what, Shark? Just like the clownfish, I've got my own buddy. And it's you. I'm feeling clownfishish. <laughs> I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel clownfishish. How about you, clownfishish? I feel clownfishish. Whoa! Fishish! I'm a fishy creature, and lemonies are my pals. Clownfishish! There are lots of buddies in the creature world. And creature buddies always do things together. Swing! Oh! <laughs> it's so mung and seeking to have you as my buddy, Shark. Well, now there's Chris and Martin and Finn and Sting and Slow and Slower and Shark and Zabu. Animal Junction's full of buddies. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Incoming duck. Oh, it's probably not a duck. It's probably a. <gasps> it is a duck. It's almost never a duck when they say duck. But then sometimes, well, sometimes it is a duck. <laughs> oh look, she brought a message from the animal helpers. Oh, you see, shark. Wonder what they're up to now. Yeah. Here, Scotty. Here, boy. Hi, guys. 
guys, hi Zabu, it's Amy here. My family and I are going on a holiday. But we can't take Scotty with us. What are we going to do with Scotty while we're away? Easy! Hey Scotty, you're going to stay at Boomer, aren't you? And we can't forget all your stuff. Whoa, he's got more stuff than I do. Let's go, boy. I couldn't put my best friend in a kennel for two whole weeks, so he's staying with his buddy Boomer. Scotty and Boomer met in the park and have been buddies ever since. I think Scotty's gonna have a great holiday at Boomer, don't you? She sure is a great buddy for animals, isn't she, Shark? I know a couple of great creature buddies in India. I'm thinking what you're thinking, bro. Come on, Chris. Sounds like a trip to me. They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. Guess it's safe to go in. Be my guest. No, please. You go first. No, really, bro. After you. You waited too long! <laughs> oh. <laughs> They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. Binoculars! <laughs> Let's go spot some creatures! See you later, Zabu! Bye, Zab! Bye, brothers! We're here in Mocha, India, looking for two creatures who are true buddies. Martin's talking about the Langer Monkey and the Cheetle Deer. Chris, Langer Monkey's 12 o'clock! Hey, there might be some Cheetle around, too. How many monkeys do you see, Martin? Martin? Martin, you think there's some? Whoa! The Langer Monkeys and everything are getting closer. Oh, no! I didn't know these binos had automatic zoom. Martin, stop! The brake! Use the brake! Break. Whoa! Whoa! Oh. Ouch. Oh. Oh. oh, my head is spinning. But I'm not seeing stars. I'm seeing leaves. Of course! I'm under the Langer tree. That's where I landed. <laughs> I'm up in the Langer tree. I'm a Langer monkey. And we Langer monkeys have a bunch of buddies headed this way. Cheetle deer. All right, I'm a Cheetle deer. We Cheetle deer love hanging out with our buddies, the Langer monkeys. Do you know why? Here's why. See, we Langer monkeys love to eat these mahua leaves, but we don't eat the whole thing, just the soft inside of the stem. The rest, we just toss away. And that's what we Cheetle deer love, the leafy parts. Except we can't get these juicy leaves way up there. It's too high. So we need the help of the Langer monkeys. Thanks, Langers. No problem, Cheetle. Here, catch. How are you, Cheetle, doing down there? Great. What's up with you, Langers? Everything. Langers and Cheetles. What buddies? Everybody's having a great time chowing down. Hey, but that's not all. Another thing that makes these two such great buddies is that they understand each other's alarm calls. So if a predator like a tiger's around, the Langer monkey and the Cheetle deer are gonna know about it. Langer alarm. <laughs> Cheetle alarm. Chris the tiger. Wow. Everyone's taking off. We better listen to what they're saying and head back to the Jeep. Hurry up, Chris! I'm hurrying, buddy! Thanks, Cheetles! Thanks, Langers! We're out of here. Let's go! Oh! <laughs> <Wrong way>. Oops! <laughs> hey, Fisher. One, two, three. I wonder what Zabu's up to. No. There's only one way to find out. Let's go. Hey, Zabu, we're back. Zabu? Where is that lemur? Hey, Martin, check it out. 
munch at deer. A whole family of them. Welcome to Animal Junction. Yeah! Shark and I have lots of buddies now. Well, Shark likes to watch. He doesn't want to get in the way of these guys' feet. Muntjac deer are one of the smallest deer in the world. This male is full grown, but he only comes up to my knee. That's not very tall for a deer. I mean, a caribou is 25 times heavier and three times taller than a Munchak deer. You see, compared to a caribou, well, you're just really small. Yeah, it's sort of like comparing me to a garbanzo bean. <laughs> Can you believe how small and slender their legs are? It's a big deer body, a tiny delicate little legs. Slender legs for fast running. So what do you think a muntjac deer likes to eat? Apples? Muntjac deer are pretty shy. I'll toss it to them. Look at that. She loves it. Oh, oh, that tongue's yeah. as long as Narchie's nose! Oh, <laughs> I'd like to see that again. Oh. It's incredible. A munchak deer's tongue can lick all the way up to her eyeball. Munga, Zika, that's a long tongue. Hey, take a close look at a munchak deer's face. It's pretty amazing. Oh, yeah, it looks like they close their nose when they're sniffing. Try it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of work. It's a weird way to smell, but it must work for the munchak deer. Munchak deer are pretty mungatsika animals. <laughs> well, hey, don't run away. Munchak deer is like my buddy in Sabu land. I was <laughs> leaping along, leap, 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 oh, leap, yeah, when I bumped into my buddy, oh, oh, <laughs> Noggin Drill. Oh, oh, I said, hello, oh. Noggin Drill. Ouch. Oh, hi, Zabu. Uh, Zabu, I want to play with a buddy. Uh, can you play with me? Huh? Well, I've been playing all morning. Hey, if Wiggy's home, huh? maybe she'll want to play with you. Oh. Well, let's go see. All right. Wiggy! Uh, Wiggy! Ah, 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 well, what, what, oh, I'm what? staying home! Oh. Staying home! Oh, well, that's no good. I, I'm really in the mood for playing with a buddy. Well, can't you hang around and play with me, Zabu? Well, sure, Noggin Drill. What are buddies for? <laughs> what do you want to do? Oh, my favorite thing. I I I'll dig a hole and we'll play in it. Yeah, ready? Here we oh, go. Sounds great. <laughs> How's the hole, Noggin Drill? Huh? Is there room for a buddy in there? Oh, there sure is, Zabu. Lots of space. Come on in and see for yourself. So I did. Oh, the end. <laughs> so you see, Munchak? You don't need to be afraid of me. I'm your animal pal. I'm your Animal Junction buddy. What's that, Shark? Oh, okay. Shark's gotta go now, but we're gonna meet up later. Now that we're buddies, we're gonna hang out more. See you later, Shark, good buddy. That's <laughs> great, Zabu. I'm glad you finally found someone you could call your buddy. Yeah, but now I've gotta get back to Madagascar. Bye, Munjak dear. Bye, Chris. Bye, Zabu. Okay, I'll see you later, brothers. Bye, Zabu. See you, buddy. Hey, what do you say we go check out more buddies? Yeah, honey guides and honey badgers. Let's go! See you next time! Bye! Hi, my name is Kevin. This is my dog named Ty, and she likes to swim. H2O. Martin. Here you go, Chris. 
<laughs> Back to you. Whoa. Yeah, it's like a desert. Or the African savanna during a dust storm. Water's there, but it's really hard to find. Oh, you've got the ball. Thanks. Here you go. Hey, where are you going with the ball? <laughs> All this dust is making me thirsty. Well, let's call Zabu. He's always ready for some cool fruit and juice. Zabu, Zabu! 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 Hi, buddy. What do you feel like doing, Zabu? Huh. He looks a little hot. Yeah, but I know what'll cool him down. Apples are a great snack on a dry day like this one. That's because they're loaded with juice. Fruit's another great way of getting water when you're really thirsty. Whoa, all this juice from just one apple. Come on, Zab, we have apples today. So is that quenching your thirst? Give me some of the food! I was one thirsty lemur. Is my mind imagining things, or is it dry in here? No, you're not imagining things, Zabu. It is dry. Even the pond is dried up. <laughs> uh, it was dry on my way here. I saw two creatures looking for water. I know who they are because I've met them before. Let's see if you can guess. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? They were sandy colored and they looked really dry, but they couldn't find any water. these two baby big-eyed creatures before, but this time, they're thirsty. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? Two thirsty, sandy-colored cub creatures. Do you know who they are? Two big round eyes, each with an itch to play. <laughs> yep. Hey, Chris. What's Martin talking about? I'm right here. Hey, Martin. My brother going crazy? Now he's calling himself. <laughs> no, Chris. Not Krat Brothers, Chris and Martin. Lion Cubs, Chris and Martin. They're <laughs> back! Yeah! I'm Gatsika. A mystery animal's here. <gasps> this Chris? Huh? And that Martin. <laughs> Wait a second. That's Martin and that's Chris. Oh, brothers, that's Chris and that's Martin. How do you know, Zabu? Because well, they told me, of course. You guys should listen better. <laughs> Hey, what have you guys been doing since you were last here? Yeah, remember last time Chris and Martin the Lion Cubs came to visit? Oh, yeah. <laughs> they played nonstop. Yeah, they played so much, they got really thirsty. Don't remind me, Zav. It's so dry in here, I think I need a drink. But no time for that now. It's playtime! Play time. <laughs> oh, playtime is all the time, yeah. He's got the towel. Gosh, he has a pretty strong grip with his mouth. Whoa, whoa, so does Martin. Whoa, he sure likes lemur's tails to play with. <laughs> whoa. Oh, phew. Whoa. I meant to do that. Hey, Martin, where are you going? What's the matter? Hey, Chris and Martin, where are you going? Huh? What's up? No, not Krat Brothers, Chris and Martin. Lion Cubs, Chris and Martin. Oh. Chris and Martin are over by the pond. They're thirsty, but the pond's dry. Yep, they need water. The hot sun can make a lion really thirsty. So nighttime is when the lions prowl. And the cubs can get into some really raucous play sessions at night. They romp and roll. But even in the cool of night, they still need a good cool drink after a long play. There's nothing that cools off a hot lion cub like some cool H2O. H2O? Yeah, H2O. That's the scientific name for water. 
Water, nothing would survive without it, Zabu. Did you know that water covers nearly three quarters of the whole Earth? There are lots of streams, rivers, and lakes on the planet, but the ocean makes up most of the world's water, about 93%. So H2O is the scientific name for water. I didn't know that. H2O is the scientific name for water. You gotta know H2O, yes. All creatures need water, and not just for drinking. Creatures need water for all sorts of things. Fish live in water their whole lives. From the tiniest minnows to the biggest tropical fish, water means life. Fish bodies are specially designed to live in water. A lot of fish have fins to help them swim. And they have gills on the side of their necks. See those gills? The water goes past the gills and the gills take oxygen out of the water for the fish. We have to do something. These cubs need water. Well, that's easy. When I get thirsty, I have a bunch of yummy green leaves. Hey, Chris, Martin, you want some leaves? Huh? What's up? Oh, no, not Pratt Brothers, Chris and Martin. Lion cubs, Chris and Martin. <laughs> but, Zob, not all creatures get their water from fruit and leaves mm. like you do. These lions need some water, so we got to find them something to drink. You know, almost every creature needs water to survive, and these lion cubs need water. And fast. Great idea, Chris. Huh? No, not you, Chris. The lion cub, Chris. The hose. This is where we can get the water to give the cubs a drink. What do you think, Zob? Yeah, great idea, but I want to test the water first. All right, here you go. Thanks. Turn on the H2O. All right, any second now. Hang on. Huh? Oh, oh, oh. <coughs> that sure is scratchy water. <coughs> right, Chris? Well, let me tell you a story about some real water in Sabu land. I was leaping along. Leap, 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 leap. And I thought I'd leap over the pond, when suddenly I was grabbed whoa, by a giant tentacle. Phoebe said, No, I didn't, I said. But since I'm here, why not go for a swim? Hey, Slimantha, why don't you come for a swim with Phoebe and me? No, I don't think so, Zabu. I'm afraid of the water. Afraid? But why, I asked. Well, I don't know what's in here. What? Hey, Slime Man, don't be afraid. Yeah, it's really great. Well, okay, since you ask. So Slimantha did a spinning back twist in a jelly roll tuck. And I did a full twisting double back from the pipe position. And we played in Phoebe's underwater home all day and had lots of fun. Yay. The end. Yeah. Oh, no. The cubs are still thirsty. Well, they need more than a story about water. They need to drink water. Ah, it's too bad we couldn't just make some water. That's it. I can't believe my mind. Let's make some water. Why not make a super soaper water machine? Great idea, Zabu. Let's build it. <laughs> OK. Where's that funnel? Here it is. Right, yeah. looking good. Yeah, we're almost there. And the final ingredient, a cool mountain lake. Pictures in, time to fire it up. Faucet ready. Set to water. What's up? Uh, what? Uh, why are there bubbles? Oh, no. Brothers, where's the water? Huh? Oh, no, Brothers? Chris, I think we gotta get back to the drawing board. Yeah, this isn't working right. What's going what? on? <laughs> Don't worry, line cubs. We'll get water for you. I think. Oh, oh. Whoa! Hey, Martin! Chris! Look at me! I'm a floating lever in a bubble! Whoa! They're way better to float in than to eat, because they taste terrible! Oh, nowhere to go but down! Whoa. Oh. Oh. I meant to do that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, thanks for dropping by, Zob. Oh, thanks, Martin. Hey, Chris, bubbles are fun. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't like got the hat on. <laughs> oh, we still need to get Chris and Martin some water to drink. Yeah, they're thirsty. Oh, they're so thirsty they don't even want to play with my tail anymore. What we really need is some rain. Rain? <gasps> no! 
Oh, good see, kid, that's it. I'll do a rain dance that I learned in Madagascar. Yeah. I gotta see this. <laughs> Rana Mafana, Rana Mafana. That's what we need, and that's what we wanna. Nothing. <sighs> Rana Mafana, that means water in Madagascar. Rana Mafana, Rana Mafana. That's what we need, and that's what we wanna. Something's happening. Yeah, clouds are moving in. Hubba hubba, Rana Mafana, that's what we need, and that's what we wanna! Wait a second, this isn't rain, this is fog! <laughs> Keep on chanting, Zabu! <laughs> Do it for the cubs! Rana Mafana, Rana Mafana, that's what we need, and that's what, what we wanna! Uh oh, this time we got snow! <laughs> Jeez. Keep chanting, Zabu! We need rain! Rana Mafana, Rana Mafana. That's what we need, and that's what we wanna. It's raining! All right! It's working! It's working! We finally made some rain! Well, we've got all the water. Time to drink. <laughs> Let's go find the water, guys. Fantastic! The pond is full of water again. And the cubs know it too. They're finally filling their bellies. All right, we finally got some water for the lion cubs. <laughs> and they love it. How is it? Wet and cold. Chris and Martin are sure thirsty. I've never seen creatures drink so much. <laughs> hey, I want to do that. What do you think of that? We just don't drink that. Like, do that? I'm yeah. feeling lion cubbish. <laughs> I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel lionish. How about you? Lionish. I feel lionish. Lionish. Lion up, lion down. I'm a thirsty lion cub all around. Lionish. Bye, Chris. Bye, Martin. What do you mean? We're not going anywhere. Oh, not Krat Brothers. Lion cubs, Chris and Martin. <laughs> Bye, Bye, Chris. Chris. Bye, Bye, Martin. Martin. <laughs> Where are you guys going? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Incoming. Duck! duck! <laughs> it's not a duck. It's Sticky Feet. The Peregrine Falcon, with a message from the animal helpers. Hi, Krat Brothers. Hi, Zabu. There's something my goldfish needs every week. I know it's hard to believe, but my goldfish needs a bath. Well, not my goldfish, but his aquarium. You know how you have to clean your room? Well, same with goldfish. First, take out some water from the tank and put it in a bowl. Then gently put your fish in the bowl. After that, I empty most of the water. Then you scrub all the sides. It's easy. Make sure everything's rinsed well before you put it back in. Now you have to wait for the water to get to the right temperature for the fish. And then you can put your fish back in the tank. There you go, Fred. Happy swimming. Hey, look! More water creatures! Yeah, Zob. Now that the pond's full of water, Animal Junction's a watering hole again. Everybody's dropping by for a swim and a drink. Amazing! A black-spotted newt and a rope fish. A mudskipper is a fish that can live out of water too. Cool. A ram's horn snail. And baby alligator. Hey, I think there's a frog on my head. 
You want to get back in the water? It's a marine toad. Ponds, yep. rivers, and streams are <laughs> great places to look yep. for creatures. Sounds like a trip to me. <laughs> to the closet! They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. <laughs> I guess the closet got some of Zabu's Madagascar rain dance water in it. <laughs> They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming See you from later, the sir. closet and they're headed out the door. We're here in Africa, checking out creatures living around H2O. Yeah, and I'd like to find some H2O pretty soon. The sun is intense. Oh, yeah. Whoo, it's hot out here. Yeah, I'm thirsty. Where's the watering hole? I don't know, the problem is, we don't have the noses that can smell water like some of the creatures out here. Well, if we don't have the noses, let's follow the noses. Elephants. Now those are some noses that are good to follow. You're headed that way, Chris. An elephant's nose is so good, it can smell water from about 20 miles away. <laughs> They know exactly where the water is. They're all headed in the same direction, and, yup, there's the watering hole. Looks like this watering hole's pretty crowded. Yeah, it could be a long time before we get our turn. I'm getting thirstier just watching them. An elephant is a huge creature, so she needs a huge amount of water to drink and to keep her cool. She swings her trunk in the water, sucks up as much as she can, and then shoots it into her mouth. But before you can take a drink, you gotta get into position. Look at the way they're bumping each other out of the way, taking their turns having a drink. Ow, that's gotta hurt. <laughs> now, once the elephants clear out, other animals can get a chance to drink. A hyena is a smaller creature. He knows he can't muscle into a herd of elephants. So, he'll just have to wait patiently until the elephants have had their fill. And so will we. Chris, the hyena, and I aren't the only ones waiting. The impalas are waiting for their chance to get a drink, too. There go the elephants. And now, Everybody else can get a chance. The hyena's first for some H2O. I hope he's finished soon so we can... Uh-oh. Here come the kudu! And he's got some other creatures hanging on his back. Check out how the oxpeckers pick bugs off the kudu's ears while they're drinking. And there's a lot of other birds down here, too. Cape sparrows! Gray-headed sparrows! Whoa! And now a family of baboons! Oh, here's a creature that has a great drinking style. Giraffes! She has to spread her front legs really wide to get low enough to the water. The warthog's a kneeling drinker. Hey, something's up. What? Hey, everybody's clearing out. And that's why a lion. When she comes to the watering hole, the other creatures give her plenty of space. Yeah, if there's a watering hole around, a lion will visit it pretty often. She needs about one and a half gallons of water a day. Hey, it looks like a spot's opened up. It's about time. Let's go. Finally, we can have something to drink. Ugh. Ew, this water's gross. We can't drink that unless we use our super deluxe water purification system. Here's how it works. You put this end in the water here, and then you pump the water through the purifier. And it comes out clean the other side. We have drinking water. Yes, water is life. Sounds Come like Zabu's having fun. Are. Come on! Look who's here! Blish and Splash! The penguins! Now those are two H2O loving creatures. It's penguin playtime in the pool! <laughs> yeah, and penguins can dive deeper and stay underwater longer than any other water bird. Hey, that was a pretty short swim. 
Yeah, especially for a penguin. But for some reason, these penguins don't want to swim in our pool. I'll test the water. I don't know why, the water's great. Wait a second, we know this. The water's too warm for the penguins, remember? Penguins love cold water because that's where the fish are. Yeah, I know you like cold water, but I didn't think of that when I made it rain. Hey, if the water's too warm, maybe we can get that water machine to cool the water. It wasn't very good at making water, but maybe it can make ice. Great thinking. We'll just start it up again. This time, cool coils in place. Hey, guys, I, I got an iceberg you can put in. Well, okay, it's just a picture of an iceberg, but go ahead. <laughs> Whatever works. Yeah. Activate Isofire. And initiate freeze drop. I can't believe my mind. Splish! And splash! Alright! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> it worked! Now to check if it's cold enough. I'll try it out. It's cold enough, oh my god! <laughs> and it tastes awful! That's salt you're tasting, Zabu. Penguins swim in salt water. Too bad they can't get rid of the taste. Oh hey! It worked! It worked! Penguins are going in the water now that it's cold enough for them. <laughs> what Mungatsika swimmers? <sighs> Penguins look like they're flying underwater. Cold or not, I'm diving in too. <laughs> that reminds me of one time in Zabulaland. <laughs> I was leaping along, leap. Leap, leap, but then I stopped because I decided I wanted to go up to the top of Mount Zabumufu. But then Wiggy flew by. <laughs> I want to go too, Zabu. I want to go too. But Wiggy, it's very cold on the top of Mount Zabumufu. Okay. I have fur to keep me warm, but it's too cold up there for you. And my feathers will keep me warm, Zabu. Oh, okay then. Let's go. Oh, oh, Zabu. Oh. Oh, I want to go too. But Google, it's very cold on Mount Zabumafu. Oh. Well, Wiggy has feathers to keep her warm, oh. and I have fur to keep me warm. Oh. But it's too cold up there for you. Oh, oh it's no problem, Zabu. Uh, I've been eating Google berries all day, so my fat will keep me warm. <laughs> oh yeah. All right then. Let's go. Oh, oh but uh, I might need some help. Uh, <laughs> Oh, thanks. Wiggy. So we climbed and climbed and climbed. And as we climbed, it got colder and colder. Oh, I'm just big. But our fur, feathers, and fat kept us warm. And then we heard a friendly voice. Oh, hey, everybody. Oh, hi, hi. It was Snow Lemur. Hey, Snow Lemur. Uh, come on up, come on up, everybody. Come on, everybody. Oh, I love it when visitors come. And we all jumped around and had a lot of fun. Enjoy yourself. Man. Hey, you're happy now, huh? You like that? Oh, yeah, you can tell she's happy because she's starting to bathe. Come on, guys. Everybody's in the pool. Let's go. Ah, it's freezing. Wow. <laughs> this is cold, son. <laughs> just right for all of us penguins. <laughs> How do you do it? Penguins have lots of fat. That helps keep them warm in the cold water. Look, Martin's age doing. <laughs> Go on, Martin. <laughs> it's freezing. How are you doing? <laughs> Great. Time to get out. Where's everyone going? Penguins are done, and this water's too cold for us. See you later. And we'll see you later, too. Goodbye. Hi, my name's Samantha. This is Cece. She's a golden retriever. <laughs>